Played along the right wing side. Richter holds the puck inside the right point. Plays it all the way down below the goal line, back behind the V's net. Unable to take it cleanly there with Will Kushnerik. Back up on the right wing side. Kushnerik, the former WHLer with the Tri City Americans, trying to battle for the puck here in the corner. Back up to the right point. Wait to the left side. A shot by Boken wide of the goal. It springs off the end boards. Gathered up now by Richter off the boards. Left point. Wait to the right wing side. Boken to the net. Redirected. They score. It went off of a Prince George stick in the slot and then off of the left skate of Cause about into the back of the net. And the Spruce Kings have opened the scoring here just over four minutes into the hockey game. Well, that's a tough one. You know, the Spruce Kings got a little bit of pressure on the Bees here. We watched them working the puck. There's the shot. It gets deflected in front. Uh, Stankowski had no chance whatsoever. It looks like, yeah, it hit. Gathered up by Prince George and across the blue line on the right wing side working in and a centering pass was knocked away. Malmquist tried to get a lead feed for weight that was knocked down, but the V's get it back again. Malmquist stopping up inside the blue line, finding the slot, McIntyre, backhander, weight scores! Finally, after all that pressure, the V's find the back of the net. It's Danny Wade who puts it by on the blocker side. On a great backhand feed from Evan McIntyre, and the game is tied to the 12-32 mark of period number two. You know, first mainland division. Chris Lamonte in the offensive zone, back to the right point. Holds the shot, stop. Rebound in front. O'Brien just couldn't settle it after the blocker save was made by Alexander. O'Brien was all alone. McAllister right side. Richter shot, stop. Rebound. They score. On the left wing, putting it home for Prince George's Will Kushnerik. And it's a 2-1 Prince George lead as they retake their advantage with Kuchnerik finding the rebound and putting it home. Well, and so much of the play has been in the Prince George end in this second period. And Jay O'Brien just got uh, finished having a great scoring opportunity, but the puck bounced over a stick. We see Stankowski make the save, but we saw the defenseman turn the other way. Back at center now. It's the Spruce Kings that will try to bring this puck ahead. And it's laid all the way back inside of the... V zone now a centering pass they score right in front it's Ryan McAllister after a pass from below the goal line came in front and it's a three to one Prince George lead 132 into period number three as it was Kushnerik that centered it from below the goal line after the V's just couldn't get the puck out of their own end well yeah they didn't play it very well in the corner weight had a chance there there was a defenseman there as well neither came out with the so a three to one score in favor of Prince George is it's Holtz who plays that ahead through center. Colts and Kalisic on the right wing side for Tristan Amante. Turning away, Amante plays it back down below the goal line. Kalisic comes out, blocker side, backhand to the front of the net. They score! Kalisic with a spinning backhand to the front of the goal. And it looks like it's Tristan Amante. Tyler Ho that puts it home on the glove side. And the Bees have made it a one-goal game right afterwards. It's 3-2. to two. Drops it off as now Lucas Sillinger comes off the boards, back to the slot. Sillinger corralling the puck now with the high slot. Still with it here with a long shot. That was blocked into the left-wing corner. Sillinger gathers the puck back behind the goal. Centered in front, Silja scores! <laughs> A pass from below the goal line by Lucas Sillinger. David Cilia finishes it off, and the Bees captain has tied the game at three. Well, and there's no playing around. The pass comes out. It's a one-time shot, and it's in the back of the net. There's no trying to find uh, somebody else out there trying to make another pass. Just get the puck off of Niedermeyer's skate. That pass rocketed, and now it's the Spruce Kings that will start the other way. Up ahead on the left wing side there. Poisson dropped it off. Shot from the blue line. Loose in front and a save by Stanquist. Rebound. They score. It's popped in front by Nolan Welsh. And the Prince George captain with 5.41 to go in the third period has given the Spruce Kings the lead. It's 4-3. to three. Well, bouncing puck in the crease area. Stankowski tried to fall on top, but he couldn't hold that first initial shot there. The rebound got loose. And uh, we're going to see it from behind here as he had a chance. Three... Defense where O'Brien on the half board down below the goal line. Cilia tried to center it back in front that was knocked away. An empty net in front of the Spruce King forward there. And Nolan Welsh and he'll find the back of the empty net with 119 to go here in the third period and a lead of five to three for Prince George as Nolan Welsh finds the back of the empty goal.